back again for another episode of Anyone Can Play Hollow Knight. Uh, we're going to go for some things in Deep Nest finally. I uh, could have gone there as soon as we got uh, Mantis Claw. Uh, around the same time we got the Mark of Pride. But I honestly don't like the area that much and try to put it off as long as I can. So uh, it's not that I think it's particularly hard, but you need some stuff to make it worthwhile to go there. You need the lantern for sure, uh, as has been demonstrated by a popular YouTuber recently uh, in this genre. And if you uh, don't have the lantern, things get hairy. More than that, um, it's pretty easy to get overwhelmed in that section of the game if uh, you aren't sufficiently advanced with your nail and your masks and charms. So I'm in pretty good shape now. Uh, next to last nail, we'll get the pure nail not long from now. Uh, I've got to get a piece of pale ore in Deep Nest itself as well as another piece of pale ore from, uh, and check, sorry, I didn't really look closely at my charms, ah, uh, doing okay. Another piece of pale ore we'll be getting from the Coliseum of Fools after that. Uh, so we're gonna fight Nosk. We're gonna get another mask, I believe, first, yep. Yeah. We should get another soul vessel too soon. Um, I know where I can get one. Do it, but I haven't, so there's me going the wrong way again. I want to go this way. Get my soul charged up as I go. It's important. It's what the good people do, you know. Uh, I took off my term that auto collects for me. I feel like maybe I should put that back on. Come on. Is it this far over here? Yeah, over here. And then up here. Keep this way. Yeah, up here. We've got a fungal core. Once you have the pure nail, they die in one hit. Or you can use a uh, nail art now. be thorough. You need to really look around. You never know what you're going to find. I mean, you sort of do. Alright, that's where I came from. You might find the entrance to the very area you're in. But also there's things laying around like Wanderer's journals and Holiness seals and, you know, all that sort of thing. Just lying around places, so have a good look. Breakable walls. Shortcuts back. All that sort of stuff. Look down. Oh, this guy here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have I ever mentioned how I don't like these guys? Yeah. So big cloak. Makes them much easier to deal with. Oh. But still not perfect. Two of them in one place, they tend to blow each other up. Get rid of these big guys. Uh, did you know you cannot downslash them? You can, it just doesn't harm you. They're invincible from the ah. What hit me? Invincible from the top, which is unusual. Front, and that you can only hurt from the front. And the missile from the top is pretty specific in this game. Although in uh, Soap Song, 
it looks like it's going to be a pretty common thing, at least in some areas of the game. Which is interesting, considering Hornet's so much more mobile a character than the knight here. Gonna be thorough here. Little wall, little wall whacking. Even when you think you know for sure, you've been everywhere. Once in a while, you'll surprise yourself with a wall whack. Like, oh, that, that's breakable. Who knew? Um, and you, obviously, someone. Oh, I thought that was down into deep nest already. No, I have a little ways to go still. I, uh, stop focusing. Those little mushrooms. They're a good source of soul. Pretty much, you know, anything that can hurt you. Oh, there's a big mushroom over here. You can drink now for dialogue. I'm not gonna. Wow. 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 Okay, one more of those guys up here. Might as well kill them. To deep nest. Boom. That puts us to eight of nine possible masks. So, yeah. This is, uh, over here is Mantis Village. I don't know, I still haven't got the map. The map isn't far. It's just a little bit this way. Up here. One of the things, I avoid this area pretty much entirely until I have to come here. Um, so the reasons I have to come here, there's a dreamer, which we'll be heading for. There's a Nos, who has pale ore. There's that mask shirt I just got. A uh, number of grubs, and the um, tram pass. In order to continue to get all the grubs, I will need the Dram Pass. Plus, it gets me to high blood, which I want before I go to the, um, white palace. Nope, I'm not that channel that's like, you don't need that stuff. I am that channel that's like, alright, here are the things that are going to make this easy on you. I think I've mentioned before, I do some skips here and there, but never super complex or challenging skips. The ones that save you time are being a whole lot harder. Um, and often, I think, results in less work and the best use of it. You can dream nail them if you're low on soul. The ones that are going up and down are really easy to dream nail. They have a little dialogue, and they'll give you soul. Whenever you dream on, you can uh, call Seeing the Pools a great place to dream on them. There's 
section final final policy um, in this round where there's some of them going up and down they're quite easy to That is one of the things I really cannot wait for in Silkstone, is that Hornet's superior healing ability. No, again, it, I think it's got its downsides, like if you get interrupted, you lose all the Silk... Oh, ah, see, there's the Carver doing its thing. Uh, you, you lose all the Silk you would have used for that quick heal, so if you were doing a 3 mass work at once, you lose it all. That's rough. There, to those bundle ways, and we get that from. That was terrible. Don't like this place, I think I should have never this place. We got another dead kill, we crazy challenge. Just there. Just always there. Oh, well, um, I'll see. Zoke is in this area as well. Now he might be further than he's further. So, I'll try and get him too. So. Again, this is an optional, like, you don't have to save Zoke. Um, I, I like to. Grey Prince Zoke is an entertaining thing. He's definitely difficult. Mm. Alright. Look at these guys. Three of them? One of them even dead. Four of them? Yeah. If it's one, it's eight. Oh, five of them? Wow, there's two keep coming, don't they? Oh, six, seven. of the tram is. You know, the flying creatures that spawn these. Look at that. Oh. No sooner do you stop the heal and you know what it is. Just an obnoxious area, like not again, not particularly hard. You often feel pain in place by not stopping. where it's like, that looks like a regular wall, which isn't always one. Oh, right, this spot. One, two, three, four. Number three is a real grub. All the other ones are grub mimics. Start up the nail light and just keep poking them. You don't have to actually break these. I, I'm just going to for, uh, what you call it? Uh, Hunter's Journal completion. They are on the list. So, there's that. Poke this guy through the wall. Anytime this 
especially shooting things, because you can poke through a wall, poke through the wall. Flying things, shooting things, flying shooting things, especially aspects of looking at you. Hit him through the wall with his camera. Just lunge right at me. Might not fly, but it's doing its best impression. Look at that. So many of them. Again, not like the hardest enemy, just inconvenient. One coming up through the ground, one coming behind me. Nothing I could really do to avoid that. I mean, I say, but you know, there's something. Like, oh, yeah, I could fight 70 of them all at once. It'd be fun. Anyway, I don't hate those people. They're awesome. They're amazing. I just, I'm not one of them. It's a one way, as it were. There's uh, Galen down here as well, I might fight him if I find him. I think, I think I remember where he is. One of the uh, Dream Warriors. Did I really end up here? No, I this is, this is just foreshadow. Um, that yeah, that little dude who looked like me. That's some foreshadowing right there, or not like me, but like uh, the knight. So that leads down to the uh, down to the hot spring. But I think I think there's a grub I can get before we go down there. Good when you take damage for doing silly things. I think I'm already in a you can't climb back out of here easily area. Once I oh, once I hit a I get that sorted out. I might be wandering around in the area. I can't climb out of trying to find something that I can't actually get to right now. That's fine. I might have to come back to that grub later. What the heck? I know, like, it probably just looked like I got hit, but I'm pretty sure I managed to dash out. Maybe I hit something. Alright, fine. Let's do it. Let's drop down to the hot spring. Here we'll fill up our soul gauge, hit this bench, make sure. Okay, well, I haven't been using any spells, so I'm really I'm gonna change that. Um, I'm using one more, I'm using nail arts a fair bit. Oh, there, that's gonna make more sense for what I'm up to. There's enemies after I fight Nox, actually, when I go to fight Nox after this. enemies where I will indeed need uh, and want um, to be a better spellcaster build, but this isn't one. Anyway, let's get through here. The Charm Shadow. It's a great charm. Circumstantial. Not the best for everything, but uh, the things it's good for, it's really good for. So 
this is a timing thing. It's just that I find that. Oh, shoot. So you get hit, even once you understand it. Ideally, you're just trying to get through one of those golems at once. Ah. Oh. Two hits total through here. It's not the worst. And there's Sharp Shadow. Alright, let's go uh, back up. Change that charm build so that I'm ready to fight and ask. Because I want to uh, versus him. I'm going to do Shaman Stone and I'm going to do. What's my name? Um, Skull Twister. And then anything I can put on to make me better at gathering soul. Because I find that the easiest way to kill him is to cast a ton on him. You know what? I'm going into a section of Deep Nest that I won't even have the map until I hit another bench. So I'm actually not going to get much use out of that. Uh, I say, but I don't know. Yeah, I'll come back and change it after I fight Nosk. That's how we'll do this. Uh, strip down, bare bones. A couple of things. Those for sure. Um, do I want this? Yeah, I do. Please room for... Actually, no. That yes. This no. This yes. Nah. There we go. I find that uh, the combination of quick slash and soul catcher is just too good to pass up if you can do it. Alright, so where is Nosk? Nosk? Right up here. I get a hunter's journal update for an enemy killing themselves. Crubs. Crubs, crubs, crubs. All are good. Their dad's bad. Anyway, sorry. Um, going this way. Although, you know, I, I've, I've talked a lot about Grubfather and what he's up to. And, uh, look, another one of me. Um, what Grubfather is up to. And that, you know, don't go back to him after you rescue all the kids. But there's also a, a theory that uh, he's providing a sort of cocoon for the post. Anyway, yeah. Breakable wall on the left here. And there's the other. Ooh, other night. Look at us. Sorry, this is definitely one of those things of uh, the spook factor. It's really there the first time you experience this for yourself if you haven't watched videos like this. Um, so I'm hoping that if you plan on playing this game, you're not you know, spoiling things by watching my videos, you're, you're just looking for tips on how to better do stuff or how to get through something. There's a breakable wall up here. In case Nosk kills me, which I'm not gonna lie, the first time I encountered Nosk, I got killed a lot. Um, this time around though, I think I have the fight down. So we're going to go boom, boom, boom through here. There's a platform we're going to hit at the end. And then we jump up here. Look at all that stuff in the background. And we get this reveal. Then you hide here. I jump the gun. There. When Nosk goes over you, Abyssal Shriek. Or, if you're out of soul, oh, and when Nosk is doing that, just move around a little bit. Try not to get hit. Um, if you're out of soul, uh, if you're like me, and just throwing your spells at nothing, just up slash when Nosk is running across. Be on the opposite side of the front house. Just up slash until it happens. Oh, come on. And you know what? 
save up some to heal if you think you need it. I think I've got this. I think it's only like my last three mass. I don't know if I'll spend some to heal. I'm pretty sure I got this without any healing. Stop. I cast early, so I, I got some of them. It wasn't a full shot. The ceiling. You'll you'll see like some sort of smoke on the ceiling. Smoke on the ceiling. Nasuka's gonna die. Um, when Nasuka's on the ceiling, smoke goes by, which will be a good indicator of where Nasuka is, and thus where things are gonna fall. And where Nasuka will fall for that matter. Also, um, if you use the uh, Grim Child charm, that knows where Nasuke is and will shoot at him even if it's possible. So there you go, we're about 20 minutes in. Nasuke's dead. Uh, you can mess around a bit with the skull if you want. I don't know if you're more of it. <laughs> Definitely seen videos where people kick that thing around for 5 or 10 minutes. I, I'm just gonna move along with my life. That is, I believe, two pieces of pale ore that I have right now. The third one that I'll, uh, I'll need to upgrade the nail for the final time can be found at the Coliseum of Fools, which I'll do next time. Uh, it can take a bit, and I'm not gonna lie, I might just uh, start the recording fresh every time I have to try, but I'm hoping to get it in one. I usually can. Uh, it is the thing that ended my Steel Soul run that was over 100% though, so... I just took two masses of damage really close together, unfortunately, and was dead. Um, I had no opportunity to heal. Oh, come on, really? So I'm just going to go back over to... Am I going the wrong way? I'm totally going the wrong way. That's what's going on here. Down here. I'm going to go back over to the hot spring. Change my charms up. Uh, that was a great build for dealing with Nosk. It was not really a great build for exploring through here. Uh, I do like Quick Nail. Maybe I'll leave that on. I want those. Or Quick Slash, right? Quick Slash. Do I want Shaman Stone? There's, there's one particular enemy in here that is basically invulnerable from the front. Um, except for brief windows, so I think against that enemy, I'm going to enjoy having Helm Stone. And yeah, uh, different builds for different areas make sense once you're used to what you're going to need. So, just keep that in mind. Uh, as you get comfortable. You'll notice there are some charms I simply don't touch, even though I bought them, because there's reasons I like to pull up my collection, like getting more notches. Eventually, all 40 will get me Salubra's Blessing, which is charm regeneration while sitting on a bench. Oh, there we go. We're up towards that grub that I was like, how do I get to that one? Ooh, not like that, apparently. So it's been like, oh, jeez, I thought I had that guy dead. It's been snowing and occasionally... Or sorry, raining and occasionally it looks like even a couple of snowflakes are falling, I'm trying to say. And there's our grub. Let me get to that. Um, is this from above? I don't remember. Looks like here. Oops. Best way is just gonna be the boots crossed. There we go. I think that leaves two grubs down here, plus the tram pass, which is gonna be Basically, another three grubs. Um, Turn pass is important for grub completion. If I haven't made that clear already. Plus hive blood, which I'm not gonna say no to. I like hive blood. Uh, anytime you're doing real tricky platforming, that doesn't put you under high pressure. Like, oh, here we go. So, think. I think this is the way to... No, that's the way back. That's a, good zone, I think. that's a... Yeah, it's a fall through floor. So I have to get around 
to get this out. I don't think there's a direct path to him. Chittering, skittering sound. Uh, the uh, husks, the basic sort of beetly enemies that I bought. Reanimated those in this section. Yes. Uh, yeah, I remember. I remember how to get to Zope now. Have to go up here. Cornifer was nice enough. Oh, you just saw a reanimation sequence there. If you were paying close attention. I was not paying close enough attention to realize it was happening until after I left. Anyway, um, yeah. Okay. I'm pretty sure I remember exactly where Zodi is. We have this bench over here. Get my map updated. That helps a lot. Um, we're going to go over and get the tram pass. But once we have the tram pass, we'll come back for Zodi. So these guys, if you give them time, Spit out Carvers. They're the worst. I think so is rescued down that hole right there. Nail art, the old uh, <laughs> coiled nail um, great slash gets them in one. Lifeblood up here. Let me go for it. If available, lifeblood's good. Good. The, uh, oh, that doesn't open from here. That opens from the other side. All right. So we're approaching half an hour. Um, I don't know if we made it all the way through Deep Nest. I'll go rescue Zote. Maybe a couple more things. I might I might make it to Weaver's Den. I don't think I'm gonna clear it. I think next section I'll clear that and I'll uh, get the trial of blues. Maybe. I'll, I'll try to get to the um, stag station. Maybe get Weaver's Song. I'd like to get Weaver's Song. So Weaver's Song, stag station, and then I'll head out of here. It's actually good because I don't want to do Weaver's Den right now anyway. I don't want to really leave the uh, Dreamers for last. So, yeah, we got our tram pass, which is great. You can say that's effectively three grubs we couldn't otherwise get, plus a pretty cool charm and a neat boss fight. Which not everybody's into. It's one of the things I'm going to say about. Uh, God Seeker mode that I don't love is that it's just boss rushes. Um, or sorry, not God Seeker mode, but the the whole um, God Master expansion really is just boss uh, boss rushes were added into the game and they're fun. I've done I've successfully completed the first three. I would like to get the fourth and fifth done. I'm really struggling with the fourth. Um, I'll get there eventually, I'm sure. I'll just keep hammering away at it, getting better, getting good. But so far, oh, it's just a point of frustration for me. The uh, cool thing is, God Seeker mode, I just went ahead and did it, even though I was like, oh, why would I want to do that? Because it's literally just playing the God's, uh, the, sorry, Godmaster content. Uh, you're limited from going anywhere else. You get all the charms unlocked, which is cool if you you know haven't otherwise. Like if you couldn't uh, defeat Nightmare King Grim, which I have done, um, but you could do the first three pantheons. Well, you'll get access to the top level Grim Child in that mode, but not in regular exploration mode, which is where Grim Child's actually I think better. Uh, I don't think it's very good in God master content um, but you know there you are that's when you can get them uh, but the more important thing to me was that it also gives access to the uh, bosses even the ones you haven't unlocked like the two unique ones to uh, Pantheon of Hollow Nest which 
are, oh, there's Galen right here. Um, the, sorry, the two bosses in question are, uh, I messed this up, I think. Um, winged Nosk, so I just fought Nosk. There's a winged version of that, which is basically just a souped up Vengefly. It's Venge Vengefly King with um, some Nosk abilities. And the other one is uh, Sisters of Battle, which is the Mantis Lords, but round two, instead of fighting a, uh, a pair of them, you fight a trio of them. You fight all three of them at once, which is really interesting. Uh, I ended up, to, to beat that, I ended up carefully down slashing uh, when I could, and, oh, here we go. This is down to the... Uh, carefully down slashing when I could, and then shadow dashing, and uh, there we go, and using descending dark when that wasn't viable. We so rinse and repeat until you save that basically, or don't. You can just leave, and so it will eventually. Uh, die. And that's okay too, if that's what you wanted. I could be using spells for this, but I don't feel like it. Is that probably the last one? Yeah, it is. Uh, noisy zone. Talk to him, he'll complain at you. He's rescued. Look at that. Um, and now, if I were to go to Coliseum Fools in the first Coliseum fight, uh, Zote would be the final boss of that. Uh, he's, he's a real joke. You just literally kick him around. Um, he can move, but, like, he's probably not going to if you try at all. He won't die, don't worry. I recently watched a playthrough where someone was like, oh no, no, I don't want to kill him. Uh, don't worry, he won't. He doesn't die, he just gets kicked around and embarrassed in a way that, you know, he should be, but he isn't. Because uh, Zoe is unshameable. He thinks he's great, and that's what matters. That is that is Zoe's personality. He thinks he is fantastic. I'm going back up here once again to the, yeah, I'm checking the time. That didn't take a lot of time up, so we're still okay to keep going. Um, like I say, probably try to get Weaver Song and get uh, to the Stag Station. It's not going to take very long from here. Take out Galen. I'll take out Galen. He's not, in my opinion, the hardest dreamer boss. Uh, he, you know, has like whirling sights? Yeah, sights. Um, right through here. I mean, the sights are kind of intimidating, I guess, but uh, I know what to do about them. Just avoid them. I think there's. Mm, is it here? Before you fight Galen? There's some lifeblood here, even. Like, if you're not super confident to fight him, um, go grab it. You know, three masks extra. Not gonna hurt any. Talk to or dream nail this guy, and then uh, fight will ensue. Like pretty much every dream warrior, up slash. Yeah. You don't even always have to jump. A lot of the time, he's uh, yeah, like right here. Basically, just floating right above ground level. Um, try not to get hit too much by the whirl in sight. When it stops whirling, get in there. Now there's two. Um, try not to get hit too much by them. I know, I'm dashing around like a mad, but uh, I don't want to get hit too much. When he goes up to three, start spelling. He'll die real fast after that. Come on. Okay, now that's the third one. There. I took 
four total masks of damage in that fight, and I'm not, you know, crazy, super epic at this. Uh, and I, I've done this boss on Radiant. It takes some practice, some doing, but I think it's at least 200. Yeah, 200. Um, as essence, which, you know, gets me closer to the 1800 I need for access to the um, White Palace. Wow, it is really coming down right there. Uh, in, yeah, in spite of the uh, potential attempted home invasion, I still have my tent set up on the patio, but I took everything out of it, not because of that, but actually because of the rain. Some things were getting wet. Um, Hopefully that was just a one-time nothing thing, and whoever that was never comes back. Um, gonna keep an eye out. To be honest, it's one of the reasons I'm recording tonight, just to kind of keep an eye on stuff. And may or may not, you know, I'm not looking for a fight or anything. Else. I don't want people creeping around on the patios here. Um, so I live in a like apartment complex with conjoined patios, obviously, um, that allow that sort of situation. Um, so it's good. probably one of my neighbors. Oh, so I mentioned, uh, back on topic, I mentioned a guy who's basically vulnerable from the front. Uh, you can pogo these guys if, if you can get over them, like I just had the chance to. Or toss a couple spells at them. If it, as long as you're not fighting only them back to back, it's pretty viable. Alright, uh, moving on. We're getting close to the Weaver Song term. There's another grub right around it, and there's a, a Whisper Root. So that'll probably get me up to 700 essence. I think the Whisper Root is right around here. Like or weaver spider guys are pretty cool. Oh, so this guy. Um, so that's one way to fight him. You can just wait for him to open, hit him with the uh, great slash, and then immediately dash away. Works pretty well. Usually you won't get hit. If you do get hit, it's for two masks. And they're invincible from the front. So, like I say, I don't I don't like to brawl with that kind of an enemy. I really would rather just um, finesse my way past it, or or blast my way past it. First playthrough, I think you know I didn't really understand how to fight them, so I always took a lot of damage whenever one of them showed up. Oh, that was just poor timing. I thought I released the great slash in time, but there was a little bit of input lag, obviously. Oof. All right, we're getting there though. It's not bad. You can hear that grub. It's actually quite far away, and I think I have to kind of come at it from above on the left, if I recall. Ah, uh, here we go. I think this is. Nope. I thought this was the um, whisper root. It's not. I don't believe. Just a rancid egg and a loop back to that first uh, big dude. I don't remember what's it called. All I know is I have killed enough of them to get my hunter's mark on another playthrough. Not on this one yet. Ooh, there's gonna be a lot of that. Ah, there's the whisper root. Let's get that activated. Knock out all that essence. Probably a good 30 odd. I had to guess. Might get me up to. Oh, it's 900. I thought 7. Right, I got a ton from uh, Galen. Ooh, uh, that's a big fall. And yeah, that'll, that'll do one of those in. <laughs> now, I do have Shaman Stone on. There's my grub. Uh, yeah, I think I have to get above him to the left. Also, I think he's an indicator for. I just broke a breakable wall by throwing that spell. Uh, right here is... I'll come back to it. I'm even going to mark it on my map. Um, Weaver Song. Right in there. So I'll come back to that. I want to finish my Essence Grab first. Um, but, uh, 
whisper root. I don't want to start it over again. It's obnoxious. <gasps> Ooh. Get the gasp. Don't want to exit the area. Ooh. Oh, what? What am I doing? Oh. Okay. Not messing around. Ooh. Heal up some masks. Um, <laughs> I hurt myself. Does this lead down to Grubby Cup? Yes, it does. Yay, Grubby Cup. Uh, there's one left to get in Deep Nest, and that one is in the Weaver's or in the uh, Beast's Den, where the Dreamer is. So, I'm not going there right now. I won't even be going there this uh, video. Back at this, which means I gotta be going over in town. So many breakable floors, just keep moving. <laughs> as long as you're relatively certain you've got somewhere to land that isn't, you know, more spikes. We'll get all these. You know, I might not have taken the most efficient route, right? but I'm getting there. here. Uh, close enough. <sighs> Messed that up. Messed up all that jump timing. I was uh, trying to do something fancy. I did not do the fancy thing. Take your time. Get all this effort. It matters. Like I say, 1800 to get into the very doable, although obnoxious, um, white palace. That was it. That was the last one. Okay, now I'm gonna make my way back up one more level above where I am to get into the Super Song charm. So will that be the second? Yeah, that'll be the second song, because we also, or second, uh, charm, because we also get Sharp Shadow this session. Pretty good. Um, Pale Ore Charm, uh, Mask Shard, and I think the last thing will be the, oh, plus three grubs, and meh, the last thing will be the, uh, I'm not going after him, screw that, uh, sorry, last thing will be that stag station, we're about 45 minutes in now, which isn't bad, you know, it's not a super short video, but it's not going to be very, very long either, uh, I think just here, you just do that. Kill this dude. Uh, there's some secret stuff around here too. I do have exact. So there's Weaver Song. I do have exactly enough. To hear that dong soul for it. You have to throw that spell. Um, once you do, these folks are here. <laughs> uh, and then this is kind of a tricky platform. It's a jump, Whoop. jump, dash, midair jump. I think not only is this here, if I recall, yeah, right there. And this is kind of nothing, bit of a lore thing, I guess. Uh, kind of looks like Hornet, so it might be related to her nursery or something, because this is where the Weavers uh, lived, and still technically a couple of them live. Uh, where am I at? Like you can sometimes catch one skittering towards that one right there, towards the door. Um, Best of my knowledge, you can't catch it. You might be able to kill it if you get it, like a spell handy or something. Not sure. Never actually tried, but it's kind of fun. Ooh. Man, how is there still one of those left? Oh, you know what? It might just be considered wildlife. It might be one of those things that comes back. Yeah, like these folks. They just come back every time you zone out, as opposed to things that need to respawn. Yep, that's exactly what this is. The big fellas, they're gone. Everything else in this area will basically come back every time you leave. Noted. Now we're heading over this way to Stag Station. Um, not, not much left to do in this video, I don't think. 
hitting through walls for fun and profit. Um, speaking of for fun and profit, I think when I'm uh, doing the Coliseum, I'm gonna ooh, do do some for fun and profit stunts. Uh, nothing difficult, just things that a lot of people on their playthroughs seem to not be doing uh, that I think are super helpful, especially if you're struggling. Uh, okay, so this here is a bit of lore. You can bother with it. You can drop to the bottom. There's another lore drop. In here is the beast den where you will find one of the dreamers. Um, I think it's very worthwhile to get up to the stag station before you do any of those things. Broken bench and stag station. You gotta get it up. It up. This might be my last one too. So if it is, that's gonna get me. No, hmm, what am I missing? Queen Station, City Storeroom, King Station, Resting Grounds, Distant Village, Hidden Station. I don't I know what I'm missing off the top of my head. Didn't I? I didn't get Queen's Garden. That's what I'm missing. Okay, no big deal. I'll get the. I'll get that. I don't know. Maybe next episode. Uh. That's cool stuff, for sure. For now, head back to Dreadnought. And... Stopping here. Big map updates. Um, Deep Nest is basically mapped out. There's not a whole lot left to it. Uh, you can see, sort of center there, that there is a... Oh, it's like that. Pin off. I'll make a note that there's a up here. I don't remember what's up there. Some stuff. There's an up here, over here, which I think leads to the tram. Um, but I can also access the tram here. So that's probably how I'll get to it. Um, and I can do the hive, which is neat. But first, I do want to go to. Uh, yep, I want to go to the Colosseum. I think I've bought everything this fella has to sell. I shall do one more quick thing right now um, while I'm thinking about it. I'm going to go over to uh, the abyss. Abyss. Um, not the abyss. The ancient basin. Uh, via King Station. And I'm going to get a piece of a um, soul vessel because I've noticed that I have two-thirds of one, so I might as well get that last one. Having, having that will help my odds with the Coliseum. Not that I need a lot of help with that level, because the third one is tough. Um, the second one is... It's middle of the road hard. Speaking of enemies, we're uh, casting spells on. I haven't already made that abundantly clear. You can make short work of them with some uh, descending dark. Yeah, meanwhile, trying to nail art them in more of a. It's a different timing than the other big fellas I was just ugh, just around. Sharp Shadow is a great way to kill these guys, too, that we just picked up. You can just time it, wait, go through them over and over again. Huh, there you go. Just did a journal entry. I'm um, just killing him for money. Certainly didn't need to. Could have and probably should have run right past. Uh, do, do, do. No, that's are good. So it was up slashing. For those times where you uh, didn't hit with the nail art, you meant to. <laughs> when you hit with the one that's basically just quick hit. Oh, heal up. You don't want to be, oh, yeah, you don't want to be platforming and lose all your health. It's not good. Oh, another thing I could and probably should do is uh, stop by resting grounds real quick. No. Oh. Failing. Failing so hard. Ooh, wow. Almost fell again. Failing and falling. 
I like how sometimes the uh, Gathering Swarm does loopy loops around you. You know, not as nice as if it actually gave you your money, but sometimes, sometimes it's just fun. Uh, I don't remember if I'll get down here. Yeah, I have. I tend to be pretty thorough when I first go through any area, but every once in a while, I, uh, I miss some stuff. Alright, uh, where was I going? The tram is here, which is cool. Got that tram pass now. I'm not gonna use it. Um, but calling it is fun. Could take it over to Deep Nest next time. Why did I come that way? <laughs> I just caught myself. I'm like, wait, there's totally a station right. Oh, that's why I came this way. Actually, because technically it's a little closer to this, which I have not been in before in this playthrough. Drop all geo in the fountain. It's actually not going to take all my geo. It's going to take exactly 3,000. We pretty gnarly if it took all your geo. That would be not kind. Boom. Look at that. So now I've got one more mask and one more uh, soul vessel. Yet. Right. I literally just talked about why didn't I take the stag that's here. I'm going to do it this time. Alright, let's get to that stag and quickly head over to um, resting grounds, talk to the seer, get my updates from the seer, and then we'll call it. And knowing that next time I'm going to hit the uh, Coliseum of Fools. So why not? Might as well get that last piece of paper and get my uh, nail upgraded. Get some cool stuff from the Seer as well. Uh, I think I just did two upgrades in a row because I think I hit 7 and 900 back to back. So it's going to give me two things. I don't remember what they are. One of them might be another piece of a vessel, which would be funny. But I mean, inevitably, I do want them all, so it doesn't matter. It's not like an upsetting thing for me if it is. I just threw 3,000 G away. I was going to do it eventually, and I have it this way. 700 essence. What are you going to give me for that? I don't remember. There's lists for this sort of thing. Oh, uh, yeah, that's exactly the first thing. That's funny. Um, and then we get... 900. Oh, Dream Gate. Yeah. I can easily go get... Uh, Lifeblood Heart. Or Lifeblood Core, next session. Uh -huh. um, I'm gonna go to the bench here and then call it a night. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a good one.